The Toronto Blue Jays will be playing the Minnesota Twins in the first round of the wild card, and it should be a lot of fun to watch. It'll be a three-game series, all three games in Minnesota, and all three games will be at 4.38 p.m. Eastern time, so not the, the best time, definitely not prime time, but still, it's going to be playoff baseball, and I am definitely excited to watch that. Now, if we do move on, we will be playing the Houston Astros in round two of um, the ALDS, so should be a lot of fun there as well. Hopefully, we can get two wins here out of this three-game series and move on to play the Houston Astros, but I think it should be a good series. They have a very good lineup and a very good pitching staff. We have pretty much the same thing. Obviously, our lineup has been very questionable at times and inconsistent, but when they're on, this lineup is fantastic. And on paper, this lineup is one of the best in the entire MLB. Now, a lot of guys have been disappointed this year offensively, but I think with the defense we have, especially the outfield defense, and I believe we finished like the seventh best overall defense as well. Like we have a very good defense, the best outfield defense. This team is built for playoff baseball with the pitching staff we have, the bullpen, the starters, the depth we have on the pitching side of things, as well as having a pretty solid lineup. I think we are definitely built for the playoffs, and if we can get the job done here, it would be absolutely fantastic to get this you know, wild card round win here and then move on to the Houston Astros in round two of the ALDS. Now, we do have guys like you know Brandon Belt. He has won two World Series. You have a guy like George Springer who's got a World Series himself as well. So we got a lot of vets on this roster who have a ton of experience, and that should definitely help this team out a ton. But a guy like George Springer has been known for his playoff performances in the past, so Hopefully, he can find some of that again and really help this team out a ton. But taking a look at where um, you know both teams kind of finished here in runs in the entire MLB, they finished, the Twins finished with the 10th most runs in the entire MLB with 778. We finished in 14th place with 746. So they finished with 32 more runs than us on this season, which is a decent amount, but you know, we're not too far back there. So a fairly close lineup there, uh, both top 15 offenses. And on the pitching side of things, though, we finished with a combined between the bullpen and the starters with a 3.78 ERA on the season, fourth place in the entire MLB. The top place team had a 3.71 in the Brewers. So, you know, the last few weeks here, we kind of fell off from the first spot, but still right up there with pretty much every single team in the entire MLB for pitching. And the Twins were right behind us in a sixth place, a couple spots back there with a 3.87. So very close to us, you know, fifth place team, the Rays had a 3.86. So they're pretty much a top five pitching staff in all of baseball, the Twins were. So two very good pitching staffs. You know, obviously we had a great one. They had a great one. And the offenses were fairly similar as well. So it should be a very good series. Two fairly even teams on paper stats-wise for runs in the ERA combined between the starters and bullpen. So should be a lot of fun to watch. But I'm just excited to watch some playoff baseball. Taking a look, though, at some of their hitters and stuff. Obviously, they got Carlos Correa. Who hasn't had the best season offensively, but still not terrible. You know, 230 average, 711 OPS. Donovan Solano, pretty solid hitter, a 282 average, 760 OPS. You've got Edward Julian, a Canadian, who is most of the time their leadoff hitter. He's had a great year this year, 109 games played, has 16 homers, 37 RBIs, 128 strikeouts. So those strike out a decent amount, but a 263 average and a 840 OPS for a 381 on base. Very good numbers there. He's been great this year, and he's a Canadian as well. And like I said, he's normally their leadoff hitter. Byron Buxton has been kind of injured and has not been hitting great this year, so not really sure if we're going to see him or not. We'll have to see you know, the final rosters uh, later on. Um, you know, Jorge Polanco, 255 average, 789 OPS. Very solid numbers there. You know, they got a pretty good uh, hitting catcher as well in uh, Ryan Jeffers, who has a pretty good year this year, 96 games played, a 276 average, 859 OPS. They have a lot of good hitters in this lineup. And Max Kepler has had a great year, a 260 average, 816 OPS. You've got Will Castro, 257 average, 750 OPS. So they had a lot of guys who have been hitting really, really good this year. So we'll see what happens. It should be a great series, though, and I'm definitely excited to see that. But they're big pitchers here, and how I kind of think we're going to see is Game 1, Gosman versus Pablo Lopez, which is what the Twins are expected to do. Apparently, that's in their game notes. So, apparently, it's Pablo Lopez for Game 1 for them, and he's had a pretty good year this year, honestly. Has been a phenomenal pitcher, had a 3.66 ERA and 32 starts, 194 uh, innings pitched. So, very good numbers there. For Game 2, I'm guessing it'll be Chris Bassett 
against Sonny Gray, who has been absolutely amazing this year. He will get some Cy Young votes, finishing with a 2.79 ERA and 32 starts. He's been absolutely amazing. And then their number three starting pitcher, who I think will be pitching in game three, will be Bailey Ober. He's had a 3.43 ERA and 26 starts this year. He has been very, very good. So I'm guessing he will go up against Jose Brios if needed in game three. And then taking a look at their bullpen, their closer was Johan Duran, who had a 2.45 ERA, had 27 saves, 32 save opportunities. So had a very good year, a 207 average against. Very solid numbers there. And a couple other good bullpen arms. Uh, Emilio Pagan had a great year, 3.03 ERA, a 184 average against, and a .97 whip. Very, very good numbers there. He also had a save on the year, so good for him. Uh, Griffin Jacks had a pretty solid season, a 3.86 ERA, had 65.1 innings pitched, a 232 average against. Not bad numbers at all. And a couple other pretty solid guys, um, you know, like Brock Stewart had a .66 ERA and 27.1 innings pitched, had a 198 average against. Uh, Caleb Thibar, he had a 3.23 ERA, only 30.2 innings pitched, but had a 204 average against. So another really good bullpen arm. Cole Sands had a good year. They had a lot of guys who are just pretty solid bullpen arms. And definitely, they had a good bullpen, good starters, good lineup. It's going to be a tough series. All three are in Minnesota as well, so they got that advantage as well. But overall, I'm just excited to watch some playoff baseball, and it should be a ton of fun to watch. And hopefully the Jays can pull through with a series win here against the Minnesota Twins in the wild card round. Thanks for watching, though, guys. If you guys have enjoyed, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for daily Toronto Blue Jays content. And definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts on the Blue Jays playing the Minnesota Twins in the wild card round.